Dino here again and we're back with another video today we've got a whole bunch of really cool clips from around the internet and around the world to take a look at some of them kind of crazy some of them a little ridiculous anyways I hope that everyone's been doing well I appreciate all the support I appreciate everybody for stopping by and do me a favor if you're not already following the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tick that bell so that you get a notification every single time that I upload a new video or I post something cheers let's get into it So, you know, people tell me, is AI game over for our way of life? Yes. Okay. For everything we've known, hmm, this is a very disruptive moment where maybe not tomorrow, but in the near future, uh, our way of life will differ. Okay. Uh, what will happen? What I'm asking people to do is to start considering what that means to your life. But it's about to happen. Are you ready? And I, and I have a very, very clear call to action for governments. I'm saying... Tax AI powered businesses at 98%, right? So suddenly you do what the open letter was trying to do, slow them down a little bit, and at the same time, get enough money to pay for all of those people that will be disrupted by the technology, right? The open letter, for anybody that doesn't know, was a letter signed by the likes of Elon Musk and a lot of sort of industry leaders calling for AI to be stopped until we could basically figure out what the hell's going on. Yep. I don't know, guys. I kind of think that it would be a good idea to like tax them a lot higher than non AI um, generative businesses and things like that because, you know, it is kind of unfair. It takes a lot of the work out of a lot of things if you know anything about using AI tools. <laughs> Check the ton open. I'm I got shooting in the I got shooting. I Okay, we see that you know. I'm your dad. I don't know about y'all, but I would have already just taken off running. I, I wouldn't stick around, not afraid or anything. I just wouldn't stick around because, like, even if dude is drunk, like, you really want to mess with somebody walking around like that? No way, dude. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed yet or not, but the age of secrets is over. The age of gatekeeping is over. The age of celebrity worshipping is over. The age of, wow, look at that guy, he has so much money. Worshipping that is over. We got Mark Zuckerberg building bunkers? You think bunkers are gonna save you? You're rich, privileged, soft. Think you're gonna be able to live in the bunker? You know who lives in the bunker is the age group. And people like that, and poor people, they're gonna survive. And how are you gonna come out of your bunker after that? What do you think we're gonna do to you after you come out of your bunker? What do you think, what do you think we're gonna teach our kids about the bunker people? You think they're gonna just let you build a bunker and after we you took all this money, and you destroy the world. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know anything about the Fallout franchise, the video games. Um, yeah, they didn't like the bunker people in that either. And in pretty much all the games you play as one of the bunker people coming out of the bunkers. And nobody likes you, man. So, I mean, I can't disagree with dude there. The United States government doesn't want you to know what really happened in Miami New Year 2024. I look back, I look back, no cap, yo, no cap, I look back, it looked like, like, like a big ass shadow, but
but it was solid at the same time. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only and shouldn't be taken serious. Hundreds of police <laughs> officers, helicopters, and more showed up for a call that allegedly was teenagers fighting with sticks. That's what they are telling us happened. But have you ever seen a police response like this for a fight? What if the truth is so sinister that once it gets out there, Pandora's box will forever be open? It's said that seven to ten foot tall creatures cloaked like something from a Predator movie and appearing as shadows was in that mall. People inside were firing gunshots at these creatures and everyone was so scared that nobody could even pull out a phone to record. They was in fight or flight mode and they was flighting. But this man later recorded the truth. Watch this. A few shadows, but they were solid at the same time. And it, was, it, it almost looked like they was coming our direction, like they was chasing us. But they was disappearing and reappearing closer. So I'm like, yo, what? So we start really moving. Next thing you know, we start hearing more gunshots like these people start fighting. And listen to what this pastor says. I've been trying for seven years and I get ridiculed if I start talking about these are not aliens from another planet these are these are create these are these are the interdimensional beings that have been given a body all right so guys i know for a fact when i was watching all those news reports there were no sticks i saw zero sticks i also saw zero guns all I saw was tons of police and then some videos of some weird shadows. Now, why there was like the whole police force, uh, you got me. But uh, it definitely wasn't sticks. <laughs> Interdimensional beings, sure, but I don't, I don't know about no sticks people fighting with sticks are y'all crazy now, the thing is i do know that the capability that cern has does do exactly this type of event here but uh i'm gonna just play this let you guys look at this and see what you think this was cern being powered up and a vortex being opened as a result i don't know how long this video would stay out there in public if it really is authentic uh, but this is over geneva switzerland I don't know, man. That's pretty crazy looking. Yeah, that was pretty wild looking. All right, guys. So, CERN is the Large Hadron Collider. There's more, but you know, CERN. It's a big ring of magnets with a couple of other rings of magnets that spin particles in opposite directions in these rings and then smash them together. And what their excuse for this is, is uh, looking for the God particle or what makes reality reality, which is something I don't think we need to know anyways. I don't know about you. They're playing God. Stop. Y'all gonna wanna hear this new bill that just passed not too long ago about New York FEMA camps. New York State is still fighting for the right to set up quarantine camps. Today, the battle entered the next phase when the court heard oral arguments in the case. NTD's Arian Pastar spoke with the lead attorney and a state senator involved in the case. Quarantine camps in the state of New York. Governor Kathy Hochul and Attorney General Letitia James want to implement Rule 2.13. It would give the state's Department of Health the power to forcibly isolate individuals suspected of carrying a transmittable disease. This is truly about being able to control citizens for any reason. New York State Senator George Borello and lead attorney Bobby Ann Cox sued the state over the rule and won the case last year. However, the state appealed and on Wednesday, attorneys made their case before an appeals court. The rule says the Commissioner of Health can pick any place that the Commissioner of Health wants to put you, you have no say. As you can see in this clip, hundreds mm -hmm. of people showed up at the court protesting the idea of... So they said that they could forcibly put you in a FEMA camp if they feel like you need to be quarantined. Or if somebody was to pop up with a mysterious illness. 
We remember how the Australian quarantine camps went. Right. Right. Y'all keep your eyes open. There's a lot of strange things happening. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the New York quarantine camp bill being passed in the comment. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube if y'all want that exclusive content. Mm -hmm. By the way, TikTok, this for entertainment purposes only. Everything is video. Educational and entertainment. I like him. He's good. All right. That's crazy, though. Like, I don't know what to think about New York right now. The people from New York, let us know in the comments what you think about this and what's really going on up there. Because I don't know. I've been hearing a lot about that lately. It's about to get a little scary. It's super deep here. But the boat's radar picked up an object below me with a mysterious rope floating on the surface. I'll follow the rope down. Mm -mm. There's no way I would do that, bro. Like, I'm already, you know, hydrophobic. I'm scared of the ocean, bro. Like, you won't catch me doing something like that. I'm not gonna lie, it's really cool looking though. Hmm. Yeah, nah, bro, that's terrifying. You're underwater with a tank on and stuff. No way, man. I already get claustrophobic just going in a small room. Yo, that's wild, man. And kudos to y'all for going down there. You won't ever catch me doing something like that. Yeah, absolutely not. I'm out. No way. Damn, dude. That's no good. Wow. That's terrifying. Oh. That's crazy, man. Like, I wouldn't even want to... Like, like I said in the last video, I've never been in an earthquake, and I don't plan to be in one. I don't know about you guys. Hmm. The dumb of the shit I get in. Strap with a grenade and a strap with a strap with a grenade and a pool Liam. Strap with a strap with a grenade and a pool strap with a This is the CBS that has been looted all day. You can see the police finally <laughs> trying to restore uh, order to this area of Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, nah, bro, I'm out.
strapped with a strap with a grenade in the pool strap with a strap with a grenade in the pool with your mama strap with a strap with a hitting in the truck getting the Liam the older I get the dumb of the shit I get in strap with a grenade in the strap strap yeah, there's nobody in there. Strap, strap with a grenade in the pool. Strap with a grenade in the pool. With your mama. I don't know about you guys and paranormal experiences, but like, I've had my fair share, and I, I can't even explain them, to be honest with you. So that would, that would trip me out. Oh man, this water is far too dark. Even for scuba diving. It's that guy again. Pick me up quick. I guess this is later that day. Six thousand feet. That's two thousand meters. Ah, finally. Get me out of here, bro. Yeah, I don't know. That's like I said, dude. That's terrifying. Would you want to go down into the ocean? And it'd be pitch black, like, no. I wouldn't even want to go down in the ocean if that, like, it was lit up. It doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> That's terrifying. President Biden calling the U.S.-led airstrikes against Yemen's Houthi rebels a success just a short time ago. It was the first time he publicly commented on the strikes. The president also says the U.S. will respond to further attacks from the rebels in the Red Sea. Houthi leaders are threatening revenge after more than 80 Tomahawk cruise missiles were launched by several carriers and destroyers, hitting wow. more than 60 targets and destroying weapons, radar, and surveillance systems. The strikes are in response to an increasing number of attacks against commercial ships in the Red Sea since the start of the war between Israel and Hamas. It's wild, bro. Never a day of peace anywhere. Did you see that Tucker Carlson said that the NSA got into his signal because he was about to have a conversation with Putin and the government called him up. And they're like, hey, we know you're setting up a conversation with Putin. He saw it through your signal app and he was like, what? I didn't even know they could do that. That's what he was saying. I had a conversation with Gavin DeBecker and he essentially said that through Pegasus software, said Pegasus 1, you needed to click a link. And that's how they got Bezos. Like Pegasus 2, they just need your phone number. That's it. Oh, will you use an encryption? <laughs> this doesn't mean anything. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm just looking at everything we do. I mean, we knew they were doing it already, but like, all they needed is your phone number. That's crazy. Creepy facts about celebrities you don't know BT to. Guys, I spelled it right this time. James Lipton was a pimp in the 90s. <laughs> His name is literally an anagram for pimp. Yeah. Oprah has a bathtub that's shaped like her body. Okay. Katy Perry call it celebrity hair. Bro WTF. Ashton Kutcher has webbed toes. <laughs> All right, moving on. Junk DNA. It's not junk, guys. It's unplugged DNA. Why did they unplug it? Because our cousins unlike you've been taught, were way smarter than us. I'm not talking technologically smarter. I'm talking about spiritually smarter. More in tune with nature, more in tune with the universe, more in tune with the planet itself, the human resonant frequency of the Earth. They had bigger brains, proven, because we found the skulls all over the planet. They had uh, probably, because of bigger brains, most likely had bigger pineal glands, which is your spiritual antenna. All humans right now, we have billions of magnetite crystals in our brains. We don't even use them. They probably had access to their magnetite crystals which is what turtles use to navigate the oceans to come back to where they're going to lay their eggs. And birds, they flock to the south in the winter and so forth, all using the magnetic field. Well, we have the same capability, but right now we've been disconnected from using that. If a tsunami comes inland, before it even hits, all the wild animals run to the mountains and the hills. You never see wild animals getting swept away by a tsunami. We've been disconnected. You know, our DNA has been disconnected. Our consciousness has been reduced. They've already scientifically proven and found out that a worship gene was embedded into the human genome. And they don't know who did it, but they can tell you that it was around 200,000 years ago, the same time that they discovered that chromosome number two in the human body was taken out 
fused together, and two telomere caps were put on each end. Again, this is something done in a laboratory, admitted by mainstream scientists, but they can't figure out who did it. They can only tell you when. Yeah, we definitely mass disconnected, that's for sure. Because uh, everything else seems to know. In the basement of one of Ohio's most haunted houses, where mistreated and mentally disabled children were abandoned. Listen as they ask for our help. Friend, are you, are we friends? Is it Tim and Fred? Help, friend help. It wants us to help him. Hey, what's, what's up? What? M. M? Like you, like are you trying to say me? Like help, friend help me? What do you need help with? Just give us a word and we will piece it together. Is this Tim? Yep. Stop. There was something on your shoulder. Right here? No, other one. It's cold, dude. It's freezing. He's gone. He was... Sadness! How can we help you? How can we make you not sad? Love! Love, dude! Dude, who was here? Children who were pretty much abandoned. Right! All right, so what do I think? What do I think? What do I think? Here's what I think. I think that dark entities and dark energies, or other words, you know, demons or uh, interdimensional lower level beings, um, lower vibrational beings, you know, whatever you might want to call them, are a real thing. And in a case like that, I would gather that that is something pretending to be children that is pushing off a lower vibrational energy trying to trick things into loving it or into praising it or into becoming attached giving it more negative ability and more lower vibrational pool um this is a very real thing Moving on. Scariest videos found on the dark web. Part 1. <laughs> it is creepy. I'll give it that. <laughs> like, I don't know about the creepiest. <laughs> yeah, but somebody had fun recording that. The Simpsons once again prophesied some crazy things. The Simpsons have made some alarming predictions about the year 2024. In a 1998 episode named Bart to the Future, the show hinted at some scary stuff happening that year. The episode shows Lisa Simpson as the future president, dealing with budget problems left by the <laughs> previous administration, led by President Biden. There's even a scene where Lisa discusses these issues with her advisors, but here's the really concerning part. The episode also talks about an unspecified nuclear conflict causing massive destruction. The idea of nuclear war and economic problems is seriously scary. We all hope these predictions won't actually happen. Still. The Simpsons have a track record of predicting real events accurately in the past. This makes you wonder what else they might have seen coming. In fact, a more recent Simpsons episode contains an even more terrifying prediction than anything before. Do you want to find out about this new prediction in part two? Comment for part three, guys, but you'll find out in part two. I, I love TikTok. I, I swear, I, I love TikTok. But as for The Simpsons and the predictions from The Simpsons, and it's it, at this point, it's not surprising, man. Everyone beware, because this is a new kidnapping technique. Okay. Watch the video, and I'll explain after. Oh, that's pretty scary. According to the men, there was a woman walking down the street, calmly just screaming. She was screaming and crying and asking for help, but was very calm. 
When the guys left, they saw her just get into a hmm. car and they drove off. The guys went inside because they knew it was a setup. If they went to go help that woman, the car would have been right there and would have gotten the guys or mugged them. I don't know. Please stay safe out there. This is so scary. That's wild. I don't know anything about that story. It could be true. It could be false. But I, I could believe that. I could believe that. It's pretty crazy. You won't catch me on boats in the ocean like that. I am terrified of the big blue blob called the ocean. No. I think in the future, there will be no privacy. Right now, there's no real privacy in yeah. terms of like the government. 100% can listen to your phone. Pegasus was the system that they developed they used on these on Jeff Bezos. Someone sent him a WhatsApp, mm -hmm. the uh, MBS from Saudi Arabia, and that WhatsApp message had inside of it a link oh, that he clicked on, and that link downloaded Pegasus onto his phone, and then they got access to the entire details of his phone. Oh, that's shysty, man. Through that, they got a hold of these text messages that he had with his girl, and then they made them public, and they, they you know tried to embarrass him. I think they get all your your recordings, all your audio. They know what music you're listening to, what YouTube videos you're watching. I think they get everything. All the porn basically you're watching, what's all on the your porn you're Google. Watching. I'm not watching all any. of it. Zero. I've seen some. <laughs> it's Tate, me, and Eddie Bravo, and oh there's this really big dude. Mm -hmm. So Tate's trying to get into his room, and his key's not working. Like something's wrong. And then the guy is trying to use his key on Tate's door. And he's saying, you're in my fucking room. And Tate's like, no, nah, man, I'm pretty sure it's my room. Look, key works. Now, fuck you, man. You're in my room. Tate's like, I don't know what to tell you. This is my room. See ya. Bye. And he shuts the door. This guy's pounding on the door. <sighs> and we're like, fuck. Dude, I go, you're making a fucking tremendous mistake here. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and we just step back. So this dumb guy comes back out, and he literally stepped to Tate like he's going to take a swing at him. Tate grabs him, pulls guard, puts him in him on a plata. Security guard shows up. The security is like, hey, stop, stop, stop. And he goes, are you Joe Rogan? I go, yeah, what's up? How you doing, man? I go, don't worry. I go, he's not going to hurt him. I go, he's just going to strangle him unconscious and put him to sleep. <laughs> and so Tate goes, Sorry. well, now I guess I have to put him to sleep. Call the shot. Tate was friends yeah. just put him in the elevator Took him and, that's, out. and they apologize they're like, sorry my friend's an asshole you're sorry brother <laughs> Bro, I don't. They got. This is why I love Joe Rogan, man. He started off. He's talking about Pegasus, the uh, NSA blah 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 app where they spy on your phones and stuff. And then all of a sudden, he just flips the script and starts talking about some dude at a hotel trying to fight with Tate. Like what? All right, man. <laughs> Now, you said something on, on social media the other day that outer space is the ocean. Right. Explain that. I can't do it. You can't explain it? I can explain it, but I don't want to explain it on camera. Is it one of those <laughs> things where it's just like, we don't know what's up there and we don't know what's down there? Kinda. Kinda. The ocean is the new outer space. Straight up. It is. Yeah, you know Straight these guys up. who died, they, they were explorers like Christopher Columbus and all that. And they do have life forms under the ocean right now in the uh, in the trenches that we are yet to see. We haven't seen near some of the uh, the life forms that have been out there. Your blood has the flower and the fauna of the land in it. 
I agree. It means that the DNA of all the life forms on the land is in your DNA because you've been here for 20, 30,000 years. They can't say the same thing. That's true. I agree. Um, some dark entities running things. No. Bro, you better stop playing and get away from my door. Nah, man. <laughs> I believe that was 100% scripted. It's too goofy, man. And I hear screaming. And she said, Gypsy, help me. And to this day, I can't get that out of my head. And then I had to agree to let him meet. My mother and I had planned to watch a movie. Nick had told me that I should tell her that I love her. I gave her a big hug. I remember her telling me, huh, what's that for? I'm not dead yet. It was so ironic. I went back to her bedroom and I cried. A part of me didn't want to go through with it. I hugged her pillow. Then had her sit. And then after that, um, we put the movie in and we started watching the movie. About two hours later, Nick texts me that he's at the hotel. And at this point, she's fallen asleep. And so I text him that she's asleep. So he takes a cab over to my house. He arrives at the house. And the first thing he tells me upon entering is the bird is dead. He said, get your effing ass in the bathroom now. I get down on the ground and I cover my ears and I hear her wake up. And I hear screaming and banging. It stopped for a moment. And so I uncovered my ears. And that's when I hear her call my name. And she said, Gypsy, help me. And I wanted to help her, but I don't. I just sit there. I don't do anything. I just sit there. You got problems. And then I hear her screaming again. And then there was one sharp scream. And then it was over. It was silence. I didn't hear anything. I didn't do anything. I just go back to that moment in time. Yeah, there's so many moments in time that I wish I could go back to. But there was still a point didn't have to die and I wish I could have stopped <sighs> Nick came to the bathroom door he was holding the knife I was completely dissociated from what was happening it was like it was a bad dream Nick commanded me to be and then the command that because I didn't let him my mother that I had to agree to let him me. That's messed up. Not sure who that would be for. Iba de camino a casa con mi novia cuando de repente. Hmm. Mm -mm. 
I'm out. Canny robot named Sophia gives an eerie statement about the future during a late night show. Sophia is a humanoid robot built to simulate human conversation. Although most robots have been built to do the same thing, Sophia is a bit more sophisticated, making her stand out from the rest. Due to Sophia's popularity, she was invited to The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The show had a segment dedicated to showing off the most impressive robots from the field of robotics. When it was time to show off Sophia, the audience was a bit unnerved, including the host. After playing a game of rock, paper, scissors, Sophia out of nowhere says something strange. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> Although the audience saw this as Sophia trying to be funny, others disagreed. <laughs> Kind of yeah, creepy. This made some people concerned about Sophia's intelligence. And the reason for this is because Sophia was built to simulate human conversation and behavior. With such capability, Sophia may imitate behavior that is deemed inappropriate or dangerous. Who knows what might happen if Sophia is exposed to violence on the daily. The developers of this machine learning bot could terminate it if it ever does something bad. But that seems unlikely now since Sophia was recently given citizenship in Saudi Arabia. And what this means is that she may have some rights that we humans share. That's odd. No, I'm not sure what I think about the citizenship in Saudi Arabia thing. I don't know, man. We gotta move on. A terrifying discovery has recently been made by scientists in the Sahara Desert. Scientists have been studying the Sahara Desert for years, trying to unlock its secrets. But recently, they've stumbled upon something that left them completely stunned. Lakes in the middle of the desert, how is that even possible? In 2014, people were shocked to discover an enormous lake near Tunisia that was not a mirage, but a genuine body of water. Located hmm. in the heart of the Sahara Desert, the magic lake is a body of water that is unlike any other cool <laughs> all right we got one more guys what are you doing Okay. <laughs> well, that wraps up another video, guys. Um, a lot of crazy clips. I don't even know what to think about some of them. Um, glad you were here to hang out with me. I hope to see you again on the next one. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, whatever it may be for you. And see you next time. <laughs>